so today we're doing a step by step guide how to do do the special boot up screen first we need is the original file that we you know download from internet so we need to go into the sam former tool or samfw.com i will link it below and you need to type your specific model number so in my case i'm using an s9 plus for this is an sm as an sm g965 app and just download any it doesn't matter what you need it's just any you can just download any of these and have a original firmware to it got it cool i have the original firmware already installed on my phone oh, my phone on my computer uh downloads so original firmware they just going to be randomly picking a s a note 8 because the only i have and you need to have the bl file whenever you uh, whenever you download the original file you get these files to flash to your phone but you need to yank the bl file that i did and here's the original bl file for my device you need to also install 7zip zs i also going to link that below um and also you need to open an archive and you need to find specifically up param dot bin dot uh z l z four that's a very important thing that you need to grab you need to open inside so you have now dot bin file and then into extract it to your desktop or wherever you want to do it in my case i made a, a folder for you guys where all the stuff is and you need to open well if you want to keep original you can keep it original but uh, you you can make a copy of it and extract all the images from that b uh, dot uh, file that the specific file that is up param.bin into whatever folder you made and you need specifically this logo dot logo dot jpeg right here you need another piece of software i personally use uh, you can use any software that uh, edits photos even paint if you want to but in my case i've been using a sketchbook And me changing this, uh, I need to open Sketchbook first. Go on. Now uh, open this and drag this into that. Cool. So now we need to make the background black because that's the default color of this screen cool we'll have the black background and you can change whatever you want i will personally do a 5g uw screen like this i will make like a and uh, have a watermark also on the bottom but yeah i will make it like this you can do whatever you want it's your choice but uh, i will do the 5g uw thing but is it your up to you? What do you want? You can even put an image if you want to. But uh, be mindful, there's a constraint right here because um, up right here, there's like a information. If you think about a phone screen, uh, the bottom half. This is the bottom half of the screen. You can do whatever you want. But uh, this, actually, no. Screw it. Let's. You know, for crack it. You know, for just so I uh, prove the concept. There you can see there's an image, cool and all. Now we file save as in 
No, we don't need to save it as a TIFF file. I need to save it as a, a JPEG file. Take this, replace it. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so, you, when you're saving a file, uh, you need to go into properties and disable read only because that's just uh, what the Android does, it just reads uh, only read only files. So it's now a not read only file, you can change it. Yes, cool. Now, go back to your uh, folder. Now, select all of these images, right click, Uh, this, uh, ZS and add as an archive and you need to uh, do it as a, instead of as the, uh, the folder name you need to do up underscore underscore pa ram or up param dot tar because the, it doesn't allow you to do not what dot tar. Now rename that to dot bin and now uh, go back to the uh, 7 zip and again add to archive and you can change it to whatever you want. I would just say uh, test dot ta. Cool. Now you have test dot ta, or wherever you named it. Now you need the last piece of software. It's called Odin. Again, you can find the link to download it. Or you can just uh, find it in Google, just type in Odin. You will find it immediately. So, now, I'm gonna switch the camera. Uh, to my main camera. Now, grab your phone and uh, hold the power button, uh, the volume down, put Bixby and power until the phone shuts down and reboots into this screen. You know, warning, a custom ROM could create a, cause a critical problem, installing f uh, and installing apps if you w uh, want to Download the custom ROM, press up key, otherwise press volume down to cancel. And it tells you volume up is to continue and volume down is to cancel or restart the phone. I press the volume down, as you can see it restarted the phone. I don't need to restart my phone, so I need to again hold down the uh, buttons I mentioned and vol volume up. As you can see it's in download mode. Now, connect connect your phone and it should show up on Odin now press AP that's very important and going to the folder that you don't get downloaded or if you do it yourself uh, you will find it but Find the folder that you made, the .tar file, you know, your name, whatever you have, .tar, and just start. And then it just should reboot. There you go. You can put whatever image you want as a boot up screen, but I will personally do the 5GW.
5 GGW screen. Yeah. Now, again, put the phone into the uh, download mode. Open uh, Odin. Uh, select AP and uh, whatever file you again made and start and it should be there you go rebranded again oh yeah I hope you enjoyed this video how to uh, make your own custom boot up screen now next video will be explaining how to make your boot up animation and that's gonna be more of a time lapse thing, like in time lapse certain step by step guide. Maybe or maybe I'm gonna do it like this, put a bit of effort. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the, sub to the channel. I hope we feature more useful videos gonna be coming up soon.